Josh from Sorcerer Studios, and welcome to the first episode of the Game Dev Discussion Series. Now, I decided to have the theme of this video be the battle between high poly and low poly. Should you make your game high poly or low poly? That's what we're going to discuss in this video. So I actually had to come across this quite a few times in my game development process. When starting out the dungeon game, I had to figure out how many basically high poly or low poly art style for it. I originally wanted to go with low poly, but as I began working on it, I decided to go higher and higher. And currently, the game is, I guess it's considered high poly. It's not really super triple A high poly yet, but that is the direction that it's probably going in. Now, when I was making that decision, there were four main variables that came into mind when I was making that decision. And the first variable is your target audience. Now, if you are a game developer and you already have an audience, you need to kind of break down what your audience wants. If they're used to making low poly games, then that might be a big factor that influences your decision. Or if they typically see high poly games or they want higher poly games, then that's something that you might want to consider. Now, having only one game under my belt, Air Traffic Disruptor, I have a bit more freedom to determine what type of style I want my games to be. So I decided to experiment with this higher poly version. Now, it is not bad to experiment. You can experiment with, with what art style you want, and that's how some people explode. They experiment with something, and then their game just blows up. So that's the first variable that I thought of. The second one is the time of development. So how much time you have to make your game, how big your team is, and so forth. So from my experiences, and some people might disagree, but this is what I have experienced, making a low poly model takes a lot less time to make than a high poly model. I just made the brute for the dungeon game all the way from modeling to texturing, the, the armor and all that stuff, and well, also the sword as well, and basically two people worked on that. I worked on the modeling and Matt worked on the texturing, and that took about three to four days in total to make. Now, just imagine if you were if you were independent, or if you didn't have that much time to make a game, you probably wouldn't want to make a character of that much detail if you have a low time budget or a low financial budget. So, and also, it also goes with your skill level. I've been doing this for about a year now, and my skill level has reached the point where I believe I can do that. If you're just starting out, a super high poly game with lots of details, for an artist's perspective, it might not be as easy to you as it would be one year from now, or five years from now, etc. So that's the second variable. The third variable is your hardware. So if you have a computer with a Pentium processor like I used to have, then you might not want to make some high poly games because, well, your computer will be chugging. So I currently have a decent computer. It's not, it's not great, but it's not bad. So that means I can deal with some higher poly models, but I can't really go with that super AAA style that most AAA companies have because these AAA companies have really good computers and they can pretty much render whatever they want in a low amount of time. So it all depends on your hardware. Now, if you really want to make a high poly game, there's always the investments of getting a better computer, but there's a lot of variables that go into that. So that's the third variable, which is your hardware. And the fourth variable, which I believe is probably one of the biggest, is just what art style you prefer. And if you're an artist, this will really connect with you. So it's pretty much all up to you. If you want to have a game that has a high poly art style and you want something that's really detailed, then go for that. Your target audience, your time for development, and your hardware, those are all technical variables, but basically your passion for what you want to do 
overrules all of those just as long as you are able to make it. So yeah, your art style is a is probably my biggest variable. And if you like low poly, lots of game developers make low poly games and they decide to stick with that um, because they like the simplicity and their target audience likes the simplicity. So that's what they decide to go with. So those are my four variables, um, high poly versus low poly. It all depends on the person. Both of them are really good, and r really one of them hasn't really topped the other one yet. So I want to see what you think. Let me know in the comments what you think you should go with and what everybody else should go with, and maybe some other variables that I didn't really consider in this video. So guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.